industry, all right, whether it be locally, whether it be Bahamans doing big things abroad, and today is exactly that. I am pleased to finally make this happen. <laughs> Our guest yeah. today, all the way from Bimini. Oh, she's a Bimanite. I want to say a big welcome to Tara Lynn. Good afternoon to you, my beauty. Same to you. Good afternoon. I'm so excited to be here. You know, I almost yeah. feel like I know you from seeing you on all the flyers. Every flyer I see on my say, why? She <laughs> <so bad." laughs> Listen to me. It's finally a pleasure to, to meet you. I mean, virtually, nevertheless, but it's all good because my purpose and, and, and my, my drive and everything that I do on a Thursday in particular is to make sure that Bahamians at a home on abroad, because the show is international, but make sure that they understand that there are Bahamians doing big things all over the world. So you can't say you didn't know. Like I sent, I sent the flyer to somebody this morning. Let me give you an example. And the person said, and they work here. That's another funny part. The person mm -hmm. said, oh my God, I didn't know she was Bahamian. I know her, but I didn't no know she way. was I'm telling you. Yes way. <laughs> yeah, all right, pick up the jaw. So, I, and this is the yeah. person who is in the music industry. So, I found that very, very interesting that mm -hmm. someone in the industry didn't have any inclination. So, can you imagine the others, the regular Joe Blows, who see this beautiful face, right, with a beautiful voice? and did not know that you were Bahamian. So let's kind of dive into your background. Let's talk from whence it all began, back on that little tiny dot they call Bimini. Yes, yes. So, you know, I always tell people that I feel as though I was born into music because my father was a Calypso band singer and he also played percussion. And his name was Ozzy Brown and the Calypsonians, that was the band. So from the time I was born, I was engulfed in music, whether it was the practicing of the band or listening to his jazz and, you know, R&B, reggae, all of that stuff. And I just immediately from, I could remember, had a love for it and a passion for it. I was always trying to sneak my way onto the bandstand and, you know, sing along with the songs. And that's really where my musical journey began, is on that island. And I always share with people, that when I grew up and where I come from still to this day, the population is only about 2,500 people. So I grew up in a very small knit community. And, you know, because of that environment, because of my bohemian culture, the way that I was raised, it makes me the woman who I am. And I feel, I feel crazy hearing that people don't know why it's beaming because everywhere I go, Empress, I take my flag <laughs> and I always rep in the Bahamas, but I do definitely appreciate, you know, being able to, to come on this platform, you know, especially to be home because I am a very prideful Bohemian. Oh, wow. So let me ask you something. Both of your parents are Bohemian? No, I'm Bohemian American. So my mother is American. Now she lived over there for over 20 years. So she is Conky Joe. She is mm -hmm. Conky Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she oh, wow. And I just had the best size given. She just cooked so good. We had corn pudding, we had macaroni and cheese, you know, potato salad, coleslaw. We make her do all of this, all of the things. American lady. <laughs> you got that right. And then cook just as you put a put our plate up against any beam in and I sure you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Oh, wow. Okay, so you grew up doing mm. music. Were you always in B Bimini as such when it comes to the Bahamas? Yes. Yeah, I grew up in Bimini. I didn't move to the United States until I was 15. So I went to school there and, you know, that that's why I knew. That's how I grew up. All you know is Bimini. That is it. There are people that say it anywhere you're from is where you're going. I don't believe that. It is <laughs> that from, right? That's my foundation. Yes, ma'am. Oh, wow. So is, is their family still in Bimini today? Oh, yes. I have plenty of family in Bimini. I have family in Nassau. I have family in Freeport. I even have family in uh, Andros. I have family all over the Bahamas. Oh, wow. Well, listen, 
Mm-hmm. Of course, for those that didn't know, they now they know, all right? And of course, the yes. reason for me to tap in and touch base with you is because you're doing fabulous things. And I, I like I said, I need people to know, all right? You just released a brand new song. We're going to talk about that when we come back. But in the meantime, in between time, folks, listen to me. We're going to find out what's happening on the streets of Nassau. We got your traffic report coming your way. And of course, we're going to tap in more with the artist uh, featured today, the one and only Tara Lynn that hails all the way from Bimini. She's a Bimini Bahamian. <laughs> a Bimini, Bimini and a Bimini American. That's, that's what it is, right? Bimini American. <laughs> man. Oh, man. So we look forward to that. We I definitely want to highlight this new song. You've been doing big things, but I want to kind of, when we get back, we're going to dive into, you know, from whence it all began, where the career is concerned. Okay. All right. So folks, keep it locked. Awesome. I want to say big shout out to everybody who's got it locked on social media, Natural Empress on Facebook, and then of course Star 106 on Facebook as well. All right. So keep it locked. More free of mine on a Thursday. Tara Lynn is in the seat today, right here. It is Star 106 Hits. Your traffic report, followed by more of this. Juice and Fries Cafe and Deli is open in the Saunders Beach Plaza, serving the best in delectable wraps, sandwiches, soups, and salads, as well as over 50 nutritious juices and smoothies to help you meet your health goals and build up your immunity during this pandemic with a variety of supplements, including zinc, vitamin D, and sea moss. Juice and Fries Cafe and Deli is ready to serve you with a great atmosphere and free Wi-Fi. Stop by or call in your order today at 327-8112 for pickup or curbside service. Pinder's annual Christmas tile sale is up and running, now through December 21st. As usual, Pinder will have almost everything marked out. Tiles from around the world has been our trademark from inception. We can now add unique, one-of-a-kind patio and walkway stones, pots and planters from right here. Homegrown, designed, and manufactured beautiful stone products that you can view in our new outdoor showroom from the comfort of your car. Come see us at Pinder Tile and choose from the widest selection of tile on the island. Sale runs through December 21st. Shell gives joy all Christmas season with $30,000 in cash and prizes for housing stipends, utility bill payments, grocery gift certificates, meal kits, fuel vouchers, electronics, and more. Spend $20 in fuel. Get your receipt, write your name, email, and phone number on the back. Then take a photo and share it with Shell on Facebook. Win with Shell now. Jennifer. Type for me, Sean. I on air. Money this holiday season. Terms and conditions apply. Yeah, right. The Empress uh, traffic. Yeah, T-R-R-P. Really heavy with traffic and the movement in and around those hits okay. streets. We got slow down a lot. At this hour, though, there's a reasonable afternoon flow going on up there. Only a few really thick spots of slow traffic is standing out. But main corridors like Wolf Road, East Street, and Robinson Road, they still have that light flow at least for another hour or so before the dull old crowd gets out there. There's a bit of a slow happening right now on Wolf Road near the Mackey Street intersection. Mackey Street itself is busy in both directions. Traffic is active in both directions also along Marathon Road as well. All right, Miss Tara, we good. Road, like East Street okay. and Wolf Road. Headed into the roundabout. We're getting through there is really slow. Over the hill at Blue Hill and getting down there by Kamaika Road, we're going to get into a bit of a slow ride up at that intersection because it's mainly the intersection, the stop signs, and traffic lights. There are other slowdowns and delays that are taking place across the island. A with the exception, of course, of University Drive. Now, traffic has been slow over there all day from the National Street roundabout all the way into the National Stadium. There are lots of drivers who are out today attending a charity event. This National Traffic Report is still with the Paint Place and Richard's Paint. They're offering four thousand dollars in student utility vouchers for Christmas. Be one of ten minutes of four hundred dollars each, just by making a minimum one hundred fifty dollars purchase at any of the two locations: Sandy Port or the Billy Lane Store. The Pain Place open from seven thirty a.m. daily until five thirty on weekdays and until four thirty on Saturday. They've got a twenty percent slow ice sale going on now. With your eyes scale up the traffic in real time, I have the AWM. Twenty four seven around the world. Catch us on the World Wide Web at Star One Hundred Six FM. 
Star 106 hits. Yes, indeed. Welcome back for your mind on a Thursday. But before we dive back into conversation with Tara Lynn, I got to remind you, RBC Caribbean Acts of Kindness. They're going to showcase the ways in which Caribbean people are supporting one another through their communities and, of course, through their country during this pandemic. Now, it's a celebration of the incredible acts of kindness and generosity of individuals across the Bahamas and the region. Now, we want to hear your act of kindness. So call us at 32. 32- Eight eight one six three to eight one six four between the hours of ten a.m. and five p.m. to share your act of kindness story. All right. Speaking of telling the story, Tara Lynn is with <laughs> us, uh, hailing again. Like I said, a lot of people did not, you know, they heard the name, they know the music, but never realized that you were behind. So let's 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 dive into the journey when when it all began. Yeah. You, I know you said you mentioned uh, your father's band back in Bimini, but when did you mm-hmm. decide that you wanted to, you know, you wanted to be serious about this industry? You know what? I would say that probably, definitely, I even knew that before I moved over to the States because I had a love for performing and I, I did really hone in on that talent along with him. So as I moved over, uh, I kind of got into the dancehall scene, the R&B scene, hip hop. And, you know, I was doing a lot of recording down in Miami and I actually was noticed and, you know, discovered in the studio by Lil Wayne. He heard, you know, me doing some of my things uh, as far as when I say things, I mean, like writing, you know, uh, doing hooks for other artists, uh, using, you know, my Caribbean Caribbean influence in music, which at that time was pretty new. Now it's kind of common, you know, yeah. but um, after, after, you know, a couple of, maybe two or three years had passed, someone reached out and they said, you know, he was looking for me when I spoke with him. He said, I have a perfect song that I want you to get on. I recorded that song, sent it back. And the next thing I knew it was on the Carter two, which sold over a million copies in the United States. And that was really, you know, one of the highlights. Say it is. <laughs> Listen, I tell no lies. <laughs> oh, true. wow. Say, say that again, just in case they missed that. Say that again. Okay. Okay. So just in case the volume was dialing low and you need to turn it up now. So, yes, uh, one of, you know, the big kind of, you know, a, what I wouldn't say kind of one of the biggest accomplishments that I've had, yeah, has been, you know, being featured on Little Wayne's album, The Carter II, the song Mo Fire. And uh, it was just an honor to be a part of a project that sold over a million copies. You know, I even going back to Bimini, I always think, well, boy, the little gal from Bimini, you know, like over at least million plus, you know, have heard my voice and it's very humbling and it was really a blessing to be a part of that i met so many people and work through the industry and just continue to hone in on my talent and to glean from all of the people that i had the opportunity to work with and i will tell you empress probably about three years ago now i took a break from music and i came back and when i came back i came back as a woman i came back as a mother I came back as someone more mature. I came back as someone knowing what I wanted to say, you know? And right now for me, the music that you're hearing, like the one time, big and sexy and cute, what the world needs, you know? I I feel so proud to say that it's a true representation representation of me, you know? Who you are now. You got that right, exactly. And I'm doing what I love. And people, you know, sometimes say, well, boy, you've been doing it for so long. But I do it because it brings me joy. I don't do it for validation. I don't do it to, you know, seek, you know, um, recognition or, you know, some people, you know, and that's fine. But I'm just explaining to you what drives me and um, the purpose that I'm still doing music and I'm still enjoying it so much. So the person who reached out to you to do the song was who again? Little Wayne. No, he reached out to you personally? Oh, yeah. No, I, yeah, I, I actually knew him. I had worked with him before at the studio, but the person that actually reached out and told me that he was trying to get in touch with me because he didn't have my number was uh-huh. a B.B. Lewis from Circle House in Miami. Oh, in a Circle studio? Yes, exactly. You got it. Oh. Yes. So let's dive into the to the reggae Tara Lynn. Now, if we were to yes. dub you as, what would we dub you as when it comes to the type of artist you are? What do you call yourself? At this point in time, I would have to say that I am a Korean artist 
because you know i i have been embraced by the soca industry i love soca i did do dance hall as well i you know i can share right now that at the end of this year beginning of next year i'm going to be coming out on a rhythm with conscience out of jamaica stone boy from africa another individual by the name of alfred who's a singer out of Jamaica and myself. So it's four of us on the rhythm, and this is a, a pure dancehall rhythm, you know? Yeah. So I have that drop in as well. And I feel like to say I just do one is putting myself in a box. You know, I heard Patrice Roberts on an interview recently, and what she said really summed it up. You know, because of the state of the world, because of the state of soca, it's great to see artists moving and experimenting and doing other genres because that is a really a music genre that's driven by the carnival scene or the carnival season. And because we don't have that, it's really beautiful to see people like her and other artists stepping out. And I feel that that's something that I'm doing as well. I'm just following in that path and also, you know, doing the things that I kind of started out doing as well, which was the kind of reggae dance all vibe. Yeah, your first song was a reggae uh, well, not the one with Little Wayne, but your first real one big time. Yes, yes. <laughs> and you know what's so funny? Like when I really go to work on a record or when I have a concept, I don't think about it as is this dance hall, is this reggae? Like I just just go with what feels good, you know, or what line up with it, and then what people want to call it, so be it. <laughs> just but you just give it to them. You give it from the heart, and whatever you receive it exactly. to be, so be it. you got it. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And how how long ago was this when this all began? When you mean when what all began? The career, the, the professional oh, career. I would say just about three years ago. Wow. Yeah. And you when I really started all of this in three years. Well, my just my career, I would say my professional career started about three years ago. I mean, I've been doing music forever, like pretty much as long as I feel like I've been born. But from my professional career, when I released my first song one time, that was three years ago. Oh, wow. How do you balance mm -hmm. motherhood with, with your career? Because you mentioned now being a mother. Yes. Uh, I have a great support system. <laughs> I have my mom, I have, you know, my sister, I have family that's very close by and they're a huge help when I was traveling and on the road a lot. So yes, that is the only way that I'm able to do it <laughs> for sure. And how, how old is baby? He's six. Are you oh, a big you boy? See, a, <laughs> you see my voice and change and all you talking about. Nah, nah, I know. I tell my baby now. Nah, that's my baby. I know. <laughs> and a boy, I thought I know how that go. And oh. you don't know. You don't oh. know. Oh, yes, man. Yes. So listen, listen to me. You know, this is uh. just so exciting to know that you're out there. You're pushing, you're pushing, you're pushing it and you're making it happen. And what's even more refreshing mm -hmm. is the fact that you know, you take the Bahamas along with you. And that, that's mm -hmm. what, what's really special about this. You never miss an opportunity uh, opportunity to big up the Bahamas and let them that's know right. from when. Yeah? Every single time, every time, you know, people will say that going to London, to Trinidad, to New York, to wherever, I don't leave home to go no show without my flag. Because you're going to know, you're going to know where I'm from. And you're going to know I rep in the 242 straight room. You see, because people, people will look at you. Um, she didn't really look babe, and as if, you know, <laughs> babe has one look as such. You know what I mean? She yeah, knows some yeah. of him, guess what? You, you, you have the accent, but certain words, the other influences start to kind of creep through. Like one minute, you, you almost fooled me with a, a, a real Trini accent a while ago. <laughs> Do you get that a lot? You know what? I don't actually. No. Really? Uh -uh. Yeah. Oh, wow. But nevertheless, I guess, you know, hanging around, being around the different artists, spending time, studio time, whatever it is, you know, they kind of rub off on you still. Yeah, I do believe that's true for sure. So let us, let us kind of fast forward a bit during the time of this pandemic. Things are rough. 
There's a lot yeah. that the world needs. I can only guess this is why this track came about. But let's let's talk about it. We're gonna take a break after you. You kind of you know preempt what we're about to hear, and then of course I'm gonna play the song. But tell us how this all came about. Yeah, I mean, and what you said is exactly spot on. You know, I I know for a fact if this pandemic didn't happen that song wouldn't even have been birthed because I wasn't in the mind frame for that type of record. You know what I mean? I was just on the go and it was about having fun and high vibe and, you know, shaking and having a good old time. And when this happened, I had to just slow down by force. <laughs> and, at, and at first it was really challenging for me because I was in such a routine and very comfortable, you know, with being on the road and traveling a lot. And um, it was it was definitely an adjustment. But as I had time to just really sit still, to be home, to think about things, to read, to really go within myself, I felt so many different emotions that I didn't even realize that I had, especially when all of the injustice was going on and um people were losing their lives over trivial things. It it brought up a lot inside of me because if anybody is listening to this and they know about Bimini, they probably know my father in the complete angler. And my father lost his life to a, a senseless act of violence. And that really, like seeing all that stuff brought back those type of memories that I thought that I actually had already healed from, <laughs> which was crazy. And um that's why I decided to write this song. I decided to put my energy into into that because for me, I feel like, you know, regardless of what life throws at me, I'm always a positive person. You know, I'm always trying to look and see, okay, well, what can I gain out of this? Or what did this situation teach me? And, you know, just continuing to press on knowing that tomorrow is another day that trouble doesn't last always. Everything is a season, you understand? So I wanted to take that part of me, put it out and give it to the world and let them realize even as some of the things that I've been through and the things that people are going through, man, we still through all of it, we'll show love. That's the only way this world is gonna be a better place. Wow, Taro. Well, I'm excited to, to um, premiere the track right here during Free Am I. We're gonna take a quick break, folks. And when we come back, Definitely going to hear the beautiful voice, Tara Lynn, right here on Free Your Mind. Of course, we are Star 106 Hits. Becoming a toddler is an important phase for your child. He'll need a good source of nutrients to support healthy growth and development. New Nestle Lactogen Free Junior is the only growing up milk with the unique combination of the probiotic Elkham Fortis and DHA to support a healthy digestive system, reduce constipation, and support his overall growth and mental development. How long ago did you lose your dad? I lost my dad almost. It's about 17 years now. What? Mm hmm Yeah, I lost him when I was young. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was a big thing. It was, it was horrible. I, I, I got to go Google that because that sounded like that was tragic. It was. It was extremely. <laughs> it was bad, yeah. Yeah, well. Somebody knows it. Okay, hold on. Okay. I can play the song right now. The biggest dose of hit music humanly possible. And you don't need a prescription. All the hits, all day long. Star 106 hits. Oh, my 
we not happy, right? But you're fighting for Imagine all the children that were born up this stuff. I know man who are in the world and that are man up. Imagine if we ever put it up, we treat one another like the unbrother of all that. And if we over calculate and leave a beauty of all the blessings, we know what not for your upper winter. One thing I love in life, we go astray. And don't be straight, even they come away. See, I say to you, the world is love, the only way. For the world is. Listen to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man. That's exactly what that's exactly what the world needs. I'm telling you, and of course, I see folks on the feed are yeah. asking how can they get this song. Oh, amazing. Oh. Okay, so you could get the song on any streaming platform, iTunes, Deezer, Spotify, title everywhere. Oh, hi, Tony Davis. Thanks for checking in. Yeah, you could get it there. Um, you can even go to YouTube, YouTube um, music as well. And um, the actually, you know what, Empress, I'm so glad that somebody asked this because the video was actually just released two weeks ago. So we have the visuals out there. You can find it on my YouTube channel, which is Tara Lynn Music. So it's T-A-R-A. -A. I'll tell people I is a real island girl. I have two first names. So it's a space still, and then it's L-Y-N-N-E. So Tara Lynn Music, and you could watch the video and um, be able to see the visuals with the words, which I feel is so powerful. But yes, you could find the, the song anywhere. Just, you know, go to Google and ask Siri, search in the toolbar, Tara Lynn, what the world needs, and you'll be able to, you know, just jam and feel that positive vibration with me. When do you come home again? Come on. Yeah, you know that's a sore, that's a sore sort of my belly. I was supposed to be home for Bahamas Carnival. Last year I was there with Extreme Mad Band. And I was so looking forward to coming back and even doing some other events with some promoters, not even just for Carnival. So to answer your question, as soon as I could come back, I'll be back. All right, that 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 works. I'm sure a little Kong Solid <laughs> calling you. Something gotta be calling you home. Listen, let me tell you what calling me. If you want to get specific, I'll tell you. Tell me, it's tell me. It, it's crack conk, peas and rice, macaroni, and coleslaw. Because I don't know, everybody who listens, I know there's some people there, you know, that wouldn't mind hanging out with me. Because I do like to, you know, make the conk, the um, coleslaw juice, you know, slide into the rice a little bit, you know, make a little <laughs> mixture. <laughs> that to me, that is divine. Okay, that that's that's oh god, I'm getting hungry now. <laughs> I, I so sorry. Oh wow! But no, when you come oh, home, no. you have to make the rounds. Like I said, you know, I just want to make yeah. sure that people know that you are truly homegrown and proud to say so. And it's so heartwarming yeah. to see. That. Awesome. Yeah. 
So yes, you, man. You know what I mean? yes eh? <laughs> yeah. Now for, for um for those that uh, that want to follow you on social media as well, I know you told them how to get the song, how to watch the video, but how do they follow you and follow the journey? Yeah, great, great question. So the platform that I engage with the most with my supporters, fans, family, as I call everybody, is Instagram. And it's the same handle is just at Tara Lynn Music, T-A-R-A-L-Y-N-N-E-M-U-S-I-C. And you'll be able to find me again, Tara Lynn Music, T-A-R-A-L-Y-N-N-E-M-U-S-I-C. So, and I'm, I'm very active on there. So you could send me a DM. I, I just respond. <laughs> Who produces crack? Ooh, Empress, you have such great questions. So a, yes, a wonderfully talented team out of Trinidad actually produced this black carpet movement that produced this song. Yes, very, very talented. Uh, the main producer is actually a steel pan player as well Stop and it. plays quite a number of instruments yes yes i was blessed for to work with them and the, the great part about it is i had the concept for the song had some melodies and they were able to match that like they build the music from scratch so when you're talking talent yeah black carpet movement have you worked with any producers locally i have i have worked with rick Rick Carey and Benji, I was on the remix for Roadhog. On the road, on the road. <laughs> ah, and have you, has anybody recently, in terms of producers here at home, reached out, you, reached out to you to do anything further? Actually, you know, I have some people submitted some stuff, you know. Um, yeah, so that's all I could say right now. <laughs> oh, no, you ain't spilling the beans. No, no, no. They say don't don't call the eggs and before they hatch, right? You know, you know? But then also too, you know, you have to put things in perspective as far as releases and timing and stuff. So I won't to talk too soon. But I was able to tell you about the, the rhythm and conscience and stone boy. So sure. that's definitely that that is on the horizon. That's already ready to go. All right. Now, in terms of touring, because you, you mentioned a lot about being on the road and things, mm -hmm. other than the combination with, with Lil Wayne, what other artists have you, you actually toured with? That's a great question. Again, this is the theme of this interview, right? Natural Empress with the great questions. <laughs> so I actually did a, a Bohemian tour with Sizzla. And when you go to my YouTube, you'll see that the video for one time actually has Sizzla in it feature in a cameo. So I did that with him. I mean, yes, yes, you'll see him. He's right, right. Listen, we push him close up to the beginning. So you ain't got to watch too long before you see him. <laughs> okay. So you toured with Sizzla? Yes. yes, I've toured with Sizzla, but I've done shows for many artists across different genres. Like I even opened up for a Grammy Award winning song, Stress Monica, here in Orlando. Um, I've opened up for Rich Homie Kwan. I've opened up for Wyclef Jean, Marshall Montano. I've done several shows with Patrice Roberts. Um, I mean, the list goes on. And on and on and on, but <laughs> those are some of you know the the bigger acts that I can you know recall right now that I have actually shared the stage with or you know warmed up the stage for them so to speak. Awesome, man! This is this is great. Who who is who is your manager? Who is my manager? I actually work with a couple different entities. So if anybody wants to get in touch with me, they can use the email book Tara Lynn at gmail.com and depending on what they need then i can get them to the right person oh, hey girl you you know what i love you got this together and and you know i think this is if if anything that you leave with or anything that you impart on this interview to the upcoming artists to those that are doing what they think is the right mm -hmm. thing just that they love the music, please enlighten them that it's more than just the love of the music and more of the knowledge of the business. So please, by all means, the floor is yours. Oh, absolutely. You know, it, that is 
extremely vital <laughs> to having a successful music career because music it's not just called the music industry you know people know it is the music business right and even industry are already derives that there's business going on or there's structure to it and i think sometimes as a younger artist they just feel like or people that really don't know you know you feel like you can just put out music and you need to have a plan you know do you have a marketing plan for this record or do you know where your who is your audience things of that nature so I would say for individuals that are coming up, the first thing that I would recommend is to know who you are, know the type of artist that you want to be as well. Because to me, that is one of the most important things. You know, don't let people get in your A or this person say, do this and do that. Do what feels right to you. Because if you're always authentic, then people are gonna be able to feel that. And I feel like if you're not, they feel that as well. And it'll affect you in another way. And then, you know, just, as you go through, again, you know, I feel like there's no mistakes in life, right? Everything happens for a reason. So if you have, you know, you have your faith, you you trust and believe, as long as you putting yourself out there and you're doing the right things, the right people will gravitate to you and you will end up in the right circles with the people that you're supposed to be with as well. So keep that in mind. Sometimes you don't always have to go seeking out for things. Let things come to you. Yeah, you put it out in the universe and it, it'll come mm -hmm. back it's positive. That positive right. energy bring the positive and the right people into your into your circle exactly. and your yeah. Good stuff, girl. Exactly. Good stuff. I'm proud exactly. of you. It is a pleasure. Thank you so much. I'm telling you, I am I am just super excited. It's so refreshing to see not only that you're doing things and you're doing it well, is that you understand that you know yourself and and it's just it's it's really refreshing and i want to congratulate you publicly on this new song it's so timely and definitely yeah. needed so thank you for that thank you so much for having me like you say it's it's about time we got together right <laughs> I, I'm telling you, but again, like you said, nothing happens before the time you put it out there. The right time is always the best time. I see my producer actually put up, Doris, is that you? He put up something about, um, say, you kind of sound like a hater. Who are you talking about? Can you call Mr. Bannister here for me, please? <laughs> I'm not quite sure how to read that, but nevertheless, I can find it. But it's so good to have you, darling. Please give your social media handle once again. All uh, right, it's Tara Lynn Music, T A R A L Y N N E M U S I C, and that's on Instagram. You can also search Tara Lynn, it's two words Tara Lynn for every single streaming platform, Tara Lynn Music for YouTube. And you know, it's always something special when I know that I could get to, you know, be connecting with the listeners at home, you know. So I do want to thank you too. Empress for the platform to be able to be here, you know, and share my song and my journey more with my Bohemian people. All right, so Mr. Bonister just walked into yeah. the studio. I'm gonna let him clarify. What, what yeah, so I'm not gonna let my name. I did say you kind of sound like a hater, but I was that was in response to Miss Delbra Wil Wilmore, who put out a comment oh. that I didn't see that it needed to be said. Oh, okay. I feel like it was really out of place, and it really came off like that person oh. was being a hater. Why? Would you, we have a Bahamian who is showing us that it's possible for Bahamians like her to achieve their dreams and achieve things that I, many I of them it, think is impossible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can come and say, a woman look like she bleaching? What, what's wrong with you? Yeah. Which, what are you Damn. doing? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, you know, we got to put some people in their place from there. But, you know, yeah. not, not, not typically... <laughs> Our people. I mean, she she smiled it off, and this is this is the face of a professional. Yeah. Notice that that didn't even it, move her. Yeah, I noticed. No, yeah. no, it it, do, it doesn't at all. <laughs> because we have the thing. I feel like where do you know? Ain't even no validity to it. It's like ah, like the dog is just roll off my back. If anybody know me, they know what my mommy look like. They know what my pa look like. They know what I look like. So obviously, this is a person who don't know me and don't know what they're talking about. Oh, we're going to leave that one right there. Boom. That one. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. And folks, you know what to do? Keep it locked top of the hour, five o'clock. You're driving five with yours truly. And DJ AI comes your way. Toddler is an important face. Girl, we don't play with them.
Yeah, that's good. I like glad he stuck up for me, you know. Like, really I, was like, like, I read it, right? I, I saw it and I didn't comment. And then when I saw him write that, that's because that's not like him. So I was like, sound like a hater. Who are you talking about? I forgot there was a previous comment up in the feed where the person said, Oh, she looked like she's bleached. Okay, like we uh, like <laughs> And well, what that has like, to do like, with and what that has to do with the price of being kind of like seriously? Oh Lord, well, you I, know, I just don't understand our people sometimes. Yeah, well, yeah, that's yeah, a, that's, yeah. that's everybody though. You know that's well, are you breaking up? Yeah. Okay. You are breaking up. Oh, Tony yeah. Davis, so sweet. She say. That was a horrible well, comment, obviously. Tara Lynn is beautiful. You so sweet, and you was a beautiful spirit inside and out, honey. Trust and believe, yeah, Miss Tony. Yeah, she is. She she is. But girl, thank you so much. Like I said, thank it you has so virtual been... hugs. Uh, I need no sweetie. Oh, Exo. Oh. <laughs> oh. I was done. So next time, you, I'm coming yes. to your big time. Please, darling. Please, thank you so much. I, appreciate, I will, and I appreciate the love and the support, and you know, getting getting the song out there too. So, listen, thank you, listen. thank you, thank you. I have, I I can send you something else. Um, I have a reggae show on Fridays on Hot ninety one on another station. I got okay. Barrett next week, but the week after, I would love to have you. Awesome. Yeah, Great. it's a different, different platform altogether. But I'll send you something. I guess All right, we're working right on. All right. Okay, darling. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs>